everybody, welcome back. I know you're gonna find this hard to believe, but I'm about to drink a beer. Red Ale by Backswing Brewing. So I'm sure you notice that this weighs in a 5% ABV. It's a Red Ale. Uh, Backswing is a brewery in Omaha. Um, in West Omaha, it's right on a golf course. Great brewery, everything that I've had from them has been amazing. So I'm pretty excited to try this. Um, my preferred beer styles are kind of like in the wheelhouse of reds, ambers, and, and browns. Like that kind of area, like they all kind of share some similarities. Like if you drew a Venn diagram of some beers, there would be an intersection for those styles, I think. Oh, well, there's a hard pour that I did not intend. That is all liter hose and not a lot of boom. All right, well, while I'm waiting for the head to die down, I better give it a sniff. Mm. Oh yeah, I smell those caramel notes. That's really all I'm picking up is like, it, it, or like the, you know, the, the caramel, caramelized malts. Let's see if I can fill this a little bit more without creating too much more head. No, not really. Well, I mean, it creates a nice off-white head. What's weird is the top of the head is lighter in color. It's like an off-white, but then in the boot, it's kind of a really more of a khaki and then yes very red looks delicious I don't know I'm not smelling anything different I was hoping that maybe if the if the head was a little closer to my nose then I would smell something a little different but I I'm not so I guess there's only one thing left to do cheers That was all foam. There was almost some beer in that one. Let me try that one more time. Oh, that is so good. Mm. They know how to make beer a backswing. <laughs> so it's got the... So, some caramel notes, a touch of smokiness, not much, <clears throat> a nice malty backbone. Yeah, that's about it. I mean, it just, <laughs> this is my kind of beer. It's just so well done. All the flavors are in a very good balance. One might even say in perfect harmony. Mmm. Man, that is fucking good. Well, there's not really much else I could say about that. Other than it is fucking delicious. So, if you're ever in Omaha and you have a chance, um, check these guys out. Like I said, they're in, like, they're in Westo. I know most people that come to Omaha usually stay near downtown but it is worth the drive it's maybe a 15 20 minute drive across town if you can hop on the the interstate the the 680 corridor there and loop around it's well worth the drive and then if you're hungry there's a japanese restaurant right next door um there's a, some other restaurants in the area uh, omaha is a good food town so I digress. Check these guys out if you're, you're ever in Omaha. And if you're in the area and you haven't checked them out, I suggest you go to the tap room. Um, you can find their beers in stores around town, but go to the tap room. Um, nice location. If you golf, you could go hit the links, and then when you're done, stop in and have some amazing beer. And that's all I got. So if you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button below, and don't forget to tell your friends. 
And this is the Multi Gentleman reminding you, you only have one liver, so use it wisely.